Welcome back to the channel. I am John with the technical support team. In today's video, we are going to explain what to look for when identifying a pile driver pump tube and assembly. Like the PowerMaster pumping units, they are used in many harsh environments where the identification labels may be worn off or damaged. Let's go over what you need to look for when identifying your unit. On my table is one of our pile driver pump tubes. Usually there is a label attached to the outlet body, but in this case it is missing. Probably how you'll find every one of these units out in the field, so let's identify it. There are three distinguishing features to find. First is a visual difference in the pump tube to air motor mounting flange to narrow down series. These units are separated into the 2100, 2200, and 2300 series pump assemblies. If the air motor mount is rectangular in shape, it is either a 2100 or 2200 series unit, which mounts this type of air motor. The 2300 series is square and mounts this type of air motor. Please note before we continue on, at the time of producing this video, the 2100 and 2200 series pile driver pump tubes are obsolete. I'm including their identification as many are still in service today. Use this process to identify what you have so you can take into consideration their dispensing specifications in order to upgrade to our current 2300 series units. Let's continue on with the procedure. We must next identify the pump tube style. There are three styles based on the material it is designed to dispense. Easiest to identify are the shovel foot units. Moving the plunger rod down will reveal the cone shaped shovel at the inlet. The other two are ball type and flat check style units used for more fluid materials. Inlet will need to be cleared of material in order to identify. Last and most important feature to find is the diameter of the plunger rod. A pair of digital calipers is recommended to display decimal places. We have compiled these measurements in a guide located in the description below. The pump tube is just one part of the pump assembly. In order to obtain specifications like pumping ratio and dispensing pressure, the air motor needs to be identified as well. Quickest way is to measure across the cylinder to identify the size. It will be a rough measurement as the units are identified by the diameter of the internal piston. In this case, close is good enough. My 2200 series air motor example measures a bit over four and a quarter inches, so this is an 82730 air motor. The 2300 series air motor measures just over six inches, making it the 84806 air motor. Additionally, some air motors used on the 2300 series pump assemblies may have an air brake attached to them. Make sure to identify if you have a standard or an air brake equipped motor as the part numbers are different. So recapping on what was shown, we can narrow down this unit to a 2300 series pump tube noting the square style air motor mounting flange. Unit has a cone shaped shovel indicating shovel type pump for viscous materials and our measurement on the plunger rod is around 1.625. Compile all these features together brings us to the conclusion there is an 84900 pile driver pump tube sitting on my table. If you have identified the air motor as well, if attached, say this 84806 was installed onto this pump tube, this would create the model 2352 pump assembly. Attaching this 8 inch 84808 air motor to the 84900 pump tube would create the model 2325 pump assembly. Having successfully identified this unit, we can now obtain the parts breakdowns and kits in order to repair the unit or find specifications needed to map out a new dispensing system. Hope this helps you identify your unit. If you have any questions about the topic shown today, please contact our technical support staff or your local area representative for assistance. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.